everyone, it's Maura with Maura For You. Tonight's question is this, could you possibly be the source of any of the frustration you're experiencing in life? Now, a lot of us never really give thought to things like that. Normally we want to say, oh gosh, it's the job, it's the kids, it's the spouse, it's the friends, it's the family, it's the economy, stupid. It could be anything, but very rarely do we ever say, gee, could it also be me? The reason why I ask the question, could you possibly be the source of some of the frustration in your life, is this. When most of us are brought into this world, we're brought up as little people, and we're brought up surrounded by events around us that we need to really join with and follow because we are little people. I've always had this expression that I really enjoy. It's not the deck that we are given that matters in life. It's what we do with what we've been given. So let's assume we were these little people and we grew up, we could even be newbies in a job and we need to do what we need to do. But after a while, if we find as we grow up that we no longer feel comfortable and feel happy doing what we're doing and really dancing the same dance we've ever danced, maybe it's time we need to look not only at all the people out there and all of the circumstances that are out there, but also at some of the agreement that we've given to our own situation. Because oftentimes we can alleviate so much of our own frustrations by changing our minds and changing our patterns. I, I'll give you this as an example. It always takes two people to ride a tandem bike. Have you ever seen a bicycle built for two and one other person trying to pedal differently? It's not really possible. In order for two to go together on a tandem bike, both need to be in agreement. How about this? When two people are dancing, it really takes two to be in agreement. So sometimes we may look at a situation, at a scenario, or at a circumstance, or a person in our life and think, oh, boy, this person's really making me so frustrated, and not give a moment to think about what am I personally doing to help contribute to this situation, and what changes can I make? to alleviate some of the stress and take away some of the frustration. You might just find that when you look at some of your own patterns, you might be able to alleviate your own stress, your own frustration, and enjoy a little bit more of life. Well, I hope this gives you something different to think about tonight. You may have a little bit less frustration than you thought you needed. This is Maura with more for you. Have a great night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.